The next is a representative of UN Watch. You have the floor, Ms. Thank you, Mr. President. UN Watch commends Special Rapporteur Paolo Pinheiro for his latest report, which documents the shocking crimes against peaceful protesters that were committed in September of this year by the military regime in Burma. Among other things, the report finds that the authorities have been covering up the true death toll, that the 3,000 people arrested by the government included children and pregnant women, that the government used torture with at least 14 individuals dying in custody, including eight monks and one young boy. The report also showed how over the years, the denial of basic civil and political rights compromised the standard of living of the population by denying the emergence of a platform for genuine public dialogue where people could share their concerns over the increasing lack of access to job opportunities and basic social services, including health and food. UN Watch supports a strong resolution that will call upon the authorities in Burma to release without delay all who were arrested in the recent peaceful protest, to lift all restraints on peaceful political activity and guarantee the freedoms of speech, assembly and association, and to commit to democracy and the establishment of the rule of law. Mr. President, the victims of this regime include pregnant women, little children, monks and nuns. By brutal repression, the authorities seek to crush the spirit of their own people. But that spirit is still alive. As Mr. Pinero reported, on 26 November, more than 25 women activists shown great personal courage when they parodied in commemoration of the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. It was the first public display of opposition to the military regime since the September crackdown. Just when the regime believed it has extinguished every last candle of freedom in Burma, this woman lit some more. One day, Mr. President, these little candles will become a torch. One day, the flame of freedom will light the darkness for the great people of Burma. One day, Aung San Suu Kyi and all political prisoners will be free. Let us commit ourselves to act so that this day comes very soon. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank you for your statement.